this is shibiatyson.com sitting here with the maestro beast how you doing today hey what's up with you everything good everything been decent okay oh um, what's the maestro means um like conductor of music um lately i've been going by stroke guy but everybody knew me by maestro beats all right, right. You you just switch up to uh, Stroga right now. Yeah, it was a couple of people called Maestro, so just trying to always separate myself from the rest of the pack. Mm, okay. Where where are you from? Chicago, Illinois, from the east side. East side. Yeah. How you was all uh, growing up? Um, when you was it young? was it was pretty um you know east side little story um it's crazy you know me and her grew up in the same building. I stayed on the third floor and he was on, on the first floor with his grandmama. But mm-hmm. you know how it is over east, you know, everybody kind of went through like going through game banging stages mm-hmm. and having to deal with that growing up and going to school and stuff. But you know, I'm here, I'm, I'm grateful. It turned out pretty decent. Mm-hmm. When you start taking serious about um, music as a um, I think it was like my senior year in high school. Um, I just, I don't know, I just took a more of a liking to like the behind the scenes and production than like rap you know i just kind of mentioned off but um like high school mm. um, my senior year in high school i started taking it a little serious and then i joined the service after that so i was doing music while i was deployed and um when i came home i was actually um able to really like take off with it because when i was deployed out you know i wasn't here i wasn't able to really mess with music as much because I was always working but right. you know I'm, I've been doing this since 07 who was your top five um, producer in the game um I'm gonna say Kanye Kanye okay yeah, I'm, I'm rocking with Ye um I like um 40 Noah Noah 40 I like him it's a lot of dope people man it's it's crazy, like it's it, it has changed for me since I've grown up. Growing up, I was listening to people like Timberland, Swiss Beats, mm-hmm. um, Manny Fresh. He was a big influence on me. On um, them cats, the Justice League, some of them. But um, now I'm I'm really rocking with Murder. You you paved the way a lot, um, Ken, with, with your sound and what you and Keith and y'all created. But um, it's it's pretty wide open for me. But um, I'm gonna say my top five is Kanye. Timberland, um, Swiss Beats, Manny Fresh, and I'm gonna say myself. I'm, okay. I can say I'm top five. Oh, uh, you you say uh, right now uh, Kanye West. Uh, you know, right now uh, he was saying the slavery was choice and he support uh, Trump and a lot of black people was talk about uh, kind of Kanye went far. But uh, today he just did an interview with the WGCI and he just said, uh, uh, kind of that was uh, his mistake and woo woo. You feel me? He yeah. apologized. What you think about the situation, right? Um, what people I think felt to realize that Kanye, he he got polar. He got bipolar disorder. They be looking for Kanye to do so much, but Kanye got a lot going on with his with himself. You know, he. He don't, you know, I'm not going to say he, he don't know what he want to do, but, you know, Kanye is a human being. You know, you can't, you know, put a lot in Kanye hands that you can't put in everybody else's hands that did a lot of, you know, made a, a lot of money and came from here. You know, Kanye just being Kanye, I guess. But, um, you know, everybody different. I feel like some of the stuff he say is like weird you know mm-hmm. and uh, it's hard to like grasp and catch a hold of how he feel but you know that's how he feel me and kanye live two different lives you know uh right now what equipment you use to uh make a beats well um, i use fruit loops um but i use some of everything i started off rocking with fruit loops i ain't really grasp it as much um, early on, I kind of started messing with Reason, mm-hmm. and then I kind of ventured over into Garage Band, and I just found my way back to Fruit Loops. All right. So, what, what you have some uh, favorite plugin? Um, you use? I mean, I use Nexus. I still use stock stuff too, so mm. it just I kind of use 
whatever I can get my hands on. Sometimes you run into, because I don't always um, produce on my equipment. Sometimes you run in studios, mm -hmm. and now how would you use? You gonna use whatever you got in front of you? Uh, what you all do do other than uh, producing music? Um, I see you shoot B-roll. Uh, I I I just recently started shooting B-roll. Like um, the company that we got, it started off as a production company, and then we kind of ventured off into shooting videos and stuff too. But I specialize in engineering and production, and I do a little video editing. I'm still learning, but um, you know, it's new to me as far as like video production. Mm -hmm. but, um, no. Um, you have some a uh, few advice to the people who are trying to get in the game, like you should do this or you should not to do this. Um, my advice would be to just don't come in ready to just know everything. Just kind of soak it in, kind of be quiet and just listen. Let a lot of stuff just come to you. You know, mm. opportunity just fall out the air. You can't really just stress yourself over like who you working with um as far as like getting a list artists to rock with you you just gotta kind of be your own wave and and keep working and you're gonna heat up you know my best advice is just to come in the game being yourself don't try to come in and bite somebody else wave because you only gonna stand in line for, in their door you know mm. that they created you can create your own door walk yourself through the game, you know. That would be the advice I give. Uh, describe your sound. Um, fly. Fly. Different. Um, you know it ain't lame. You know, you can sometimes tell how a person is by how they create, you know. Mm. It's, it's just different to me. You know, I try to not to put myself in a box. I try to get lost in what I'm doing and always finding new cadences and new ways to, you know, recreate myself. You know, about, that's about it. Uh, oh, what you think about um, you and MB made a song and you think, you know, um, have a party. Yeah, um, then yeah. like I was thinking about it was really good chemistry with the buff and with the um pop music. Um but now like it's kinda um uh, pop music kinda died down and right now even people from the West really on some gang shit right now kinda little for. Yeah. Like I kinda feel a little bit sad like I, I wanted bad music kept more high if you yeah. know, everybody dropped the project and song and shit, but kinda, if you know, what you think about the, what happened with the shit? Um, for me, I think um, I don't know. It's just waves. You know, some waves come and some go. Some mm -hmm. stay. Some um, I don't feel like it's dead. It's um, it's a tradition out west. Like that was something that was always out west. You feel me? You want like it um. It just got discovered when it got discovered. They was already making that music, and I still, NBE still make colorful, um, that colorful sound sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I just think um, it's crazy just how, you know, trends, they leave quicker and quicker, but it's hard to really touch on that because, you know, it just sh shit change, you know. People just start feeling different. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. Because it's like, ain't no real excuse behind why everybody, it it was positive in a way, but it wasn't no real excuse behind why everybody just stopped kind of making the music. It just, everybody started gravitating, and you know, the city, it was so bad out south and over east that a lot of times people would go out west to chill, you feel me? Right, so, right, exactly. You so feel that's kind of like how um, I mean, still kind of it, it is to me, you know, yeah, like, yeah, you know, like, people want to go like to the West to cheer and like, yeah, have fun and have a party, like, yeah, not, cause, forget about the bullshit, you right. feel me? But it's like, with that, when, and it's still, you know, it's, it's a lot of game violence that go on out West, right. it's just that when everybody start, like, mingling, it mm -hmm. just kind of got 
a little bad because now you got people that out west doing um, what's going on out south, you know. Mm -hmm. It's still, it's just a lot of crime going on everywhere. It's just, it's, it's tough, but, you know, it's our culture. Mm -hmm. it's, I'm sure it's still people that do music like that, you know, just for the Fifi's and they still be throwing parties, but it just, the city just real toe up right now mm -hmm. with crime and, and all the killing and, and deaths. It just, they just a product of what they going through, you know? Mm -hmm. Music is really art. People go through certain stuff. And it's different, you know. It's mm -hmm. a lot going on in the city. Everybody just talking about what's going on. So I, I'm I'm guessing Bob ain't necessarily dad. It's just it's quiet right now. Mm -hmm. So uh, what do you think about right now, Chicago music scene going on? Man, it's 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 so crazy. I feel like the city. It's so many hot people in the city that we get overlooked for that that reason too. Like. You could be somewhere else and blow up quicker, mm -hmm. but like here, like you blowing up, it's almost like don't nobody want to clout chase, so they don't support you as much if you were somewhere else, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like you could blow up here and, and still nothing can come of it because so many people here is blowing up. So it's mm -hmm. like you at a different, like, you at a different level as far as like how you got to reach out to people because you could have a million views here and still not nothing happened for you here versus going to Atlanta you get a million views everybody gonna rock with you but it's just in the city is like the the west and the NBA like, like everybody making hot music and everybody popping so it's like that don't matter you just gotta be the few to make it out what's the uh, craziest memory or um, biggest memory since you start music career um I don't know, just seeing like the music garage is like was like one of the biggest memories because everybody that's on right now came up out of here. Mm -hmm. So it's like for me, it's like watching people graduate from high school through this building and taking off like y'all created a wave too. Like I saw all of that transpire and just seeing like some come from nothing to like just change in hip hop just really. I'm glad to be able to say I saw that happen versus like just coming to um in it now I was able to see from 2010 all the way up until now how everything just teed up and how how everybody just popping now like it's a lot of legendary stuff going on here I feel like we need to create more outlets for ourselves mm -hmm. versus going somewhere else Right now, um, everybody playing the music uh, in the uh, streaming, you know, and I don't think not the other people dropping the mix up and stuff no more as a trend or a way to, you know, have this music stuff go right now. What you think about the next uh, after the streaming? Mm, it's, 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 that's hard because um, I don't it's, that's next level. That would be dope for me if I did know. Like, that's yeah, a great yeah. question because <laughs> we would be on top right. of that. <laughs> yeah. that. That's, if you figure it out, um, that's yeah. hard, bro. That's, that's who's going to be the uh, lich next. Yeah. yeah, that's, but um, I think for the most part with the streaming, I think that You think uh, that streaming hurts the what's going on right now um, the quality of music way, and everything or as far as like everything. as far as like labels and artists i don't know like um the streaming you know how streaming is like mm -hmm. these big companies get like contracts with these people so like for the artists it's a good thing because you ain't gotta necessarily sell a cd to somebody you feel me to sell your album you know you could um they don't have to buy your whole album if they don't like everything on your album. They can mm -hmm. go directly to what they want. So, I mean, it's it's understandable, but, you know, it's all a money thing. These companies want to get in good, so they partnering up with other companies that ain't got no choice but to let you hear the music. So, mm -hmm. like, companies like Tidal, they'll let you listen to music all day, 
So it ain't necessarily that you got to buy it, you know. So they give you your, your credits through the streaming and how many times people playing it. So for the consumer and the artist, it's a good thing. It's interesting to see how it's going to turn out. But um, that's my take on that. What you think of a producer and not really get the credit? You know, uh, who the TM88 say? Uh, I feel like he produced the Uzi song, but people made a million off the one song, but you know, people still not. I mean, rebel or artists, you know, these people not really trying to give the credit and you know, spread the uh, bread. Um, I think that. With that, it's just, I feel like producers don't get the credit that they deserve. I feel like a lot of people are overlooked. And it's it's because, not to be biased towards, like, labels, but they it's, it's like they make you choose on who's supposed to get the money when the producer is a vital part of the music, you know? So the labels sometimes probably try to cut out who they can cut out just so they don't get to pay as many mm -hmm. people. And... Most of the times, they look out for the artist and lead the producer to the wayside because they've nine times out of ten got their own producers that signed to their label mm. that they get a workload to. It just really, it's a that goes back to like who you doing business with, you know. Everybody not going like believe in you the way you want, you know. Mm -hmm. So you just gotta have the right people around you. And, and people that see your your potential. Um, I feel like somewhere in the industry they should make it a thing to make sure the producers are paid. They um, make sure everything else is secure. Mm -hmm. They should make sure these producers get paid. That shouldn't even be something that you have, should have to take to court. That mm -hmm. should be something that's like taken care of right away. You know, unless some, you know, people buying the exclusive rights. But if if the producer not getting looked out after the music gonna eventually it's gonna be weird. You might have see a lot of whole bunch of artists being producers. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's a it's a um, touchy subject because a lot of artists are producers too, and producers become artists sometimes too. But I feel like the producers should get more more credit. Mm. Yeah. Then they then they do. What's your plan for the next five years? Um, I've been um working with a label called Go World. Just seeing that grow, it's like my five year plan, mm. uh, to better my craft, to keep growing and meeting dope artists and more producers um, there's the, I want to be a partner in my city for helping people get on you know a part of that is um, what got me doing this just being able to to be able to say I, I help something great happen in my city you know taking people from poverty and switching their life around is like the ultimate goal to me what you got uh, something coming up in um, a few months or something? Well, um, I dropped a year ago, I dropped the Buddy Pass project. But I've been doing a lot of music with MBE. I got a project with Nia K coming up, so that's that's pretty dope. We got a, a dope little project. I've been, you know, I got some old stuff with MBE. We got Plot and Martian on them. They spending that on the radio, so they showing us love with that. Um, that's about it right now. Okay, yo, uh, you wanna say something uh, before we close? Uh, shout out to DJ Ken. Shout out to um your whole movement, bro. I appreciate for having me for this interview. Thank you. Yo, this is Maestro, and I'm um with ShibuyaTyson.com. I'm finna show y'all MBE plot, um, how I made the beat. So um, the song is kind of like a colorful song. I just um, felt like before we had did the song, I 
kind of wanted to make some slight. <laughs> So I use purity for um, all of my melodies. You know, I, everybody got their packs. But um, here's just like some of the melodies, some strings. <laughs> Rock with me and let me come out here. Showcase my time. Y'all go subscribe.